Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 5th, 2019. So, hey, let's take a look and see what we got going on this morning. Kind of an interesting morning setting up here. Um, yesterday, we gapped up and had a significant gap up and then just kind of went nowhere. Um, as a matter of fact, saw a little bit of selling coming in at the end of the day. If I go to a 15 minute chart, you can see after the gap up, the bulls really found it difficult to find uh, buyers um, after that morning pop and we just kind of drifted along sideways here for the rest of the day tailing back off um, toward the end of the day. But something has inspired the bulls overnight and we see the Dow futures pushing for another gap up open. Now, I honestly have looked, trying to find what inspired them to move up. We were lower overnight, but suddenly this morning they decided to get inspired to go higher and there's no news that i can see particularly on the trade war or anything that really engendered that um inspiration however um that is the case we are gapping up this morning um dow looking at gapping up over 100 points and pushing up toward this resistance level in the chart so let's keep an eye on that resistance level right here you know it is possible we could get that gap up and find nothing but sellers there. So we'll wanna watch that pretty closely. Now we could find some inspiration day. We have one of our biggest days this week or is the biggest day this week for earnings reports. So maybe we'll find some inspiration there. It's kind of interesting seeing that gap, particularly um, you know, with that ADP number showing such a decline in employment as we head toward the Friday big number, government number, um, employment situation number. So let's keep an eye on this. And I would be a little bit suspicious of this gap up this morning. Watch really, really carefully. Make sure there's actually some follow through buyers before you chase into that because we will be be pushing right into price resistance of the chart here and um, that could uh, certainly trigger um uh, well, could trigger anything. We could trigger those buyers to really step in and push through to the upside. We'll want to watch for that closely. And it could certainly trigger that pop and drop pattern where we gap up in the morning like we did here, gap up and find sellers rest today. Not that we're going to get a big dropping day like that, but just the uncertainty that's going on in this market, it seems rather odd to me that we're getting this big push up this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also moving higher this morning getting that nice little gap up and as you can see that gap up is moving right up into here right into that little price resistance level here in the chart so let's watch that pretty closely this morning and keep an eye on it see where we go from here uh, pretty darn interesting to see um, that moving and really no trade news to really support um, that kind of bullishness this morning just a little follow-through i guess um let's watch that pretty carefully and closely this morning as it goes one thing i do have to say is the bulls are definitely still in control um in the diamonds the cues um everything the bulls remain in control and the bears just don't seem to have a whole lot of tenacity to push back so bulls remain in control and we're getting this bullish move this morning so we have to be on that bullish side but that doesn't mean we have to be blindly bullish we want to be um, very focused in on the price action and remember that we're very very sensitive to anything on trade news so we could get a trade report that is positive on trade and the market surges right right on up we could also get a news report that says now oh, things aren't going so well and we completely reverse so make sure whatever you plan to do as we approach these resistance highs in the market that you uh, remain flexible and don't get yourself over committed in one direction just in case we get that that big shift 
shift that could occur on that news report. And, you know, that's one of the unfortunate things about this market right now is we're very, very news driven and we have to remain very, very flexible um, because anything, anything is possible um, on that next news story. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues also rallying back up and getting a little gap up this morning here as well, gapping up into some price resistance here in the chart. So let's watch that close. Um, everything seems to be coming up roses right now at the moment. Um, we are bullish. Um, Dow futures have slipped just a tiny little bit. We're um, only up 91 points in the Dow futures right now. We were up considerably more than that earlier. So getting a little back and forth as earnings uh, begin to roll in and maybe a little bit of um, just uncertainty creeping back into the market. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM doing very, very well. Um, I think IWM is one of the better patterns that we have in the market right now. And that we broke the downtrend here in the chart. We held support where um, di um, SPY, diamonds, Qs all kind of broke some support levels. Um, IWM actually held that support level. So let's keep an eye on this. And we are gapping up here in IWM, pushing up into some price resistance in this chart. And as we approach that resistance, we do have to be careful and be watchful of that. But this may actually set up some opportunities in IWM bullishly if the market does hold up and if we can get some resolution on what's going to happen uh, next on the trade war and tariffs and all of that kind of stuff i'm getting very very tired if you're like me i'm getting tired of this political football being kicked around being um, uh, subject to these massive swings in the market around that news so um, very, very frustrating um, in a way, and I wish they would just, uh, you know, get something taken care of or decide that it's not going to happen instead of just kicking it back and forth in the news the way they have. But that's the market we have, and that's the market we have to live with. So let's make sure we remain very flexible and focused on that price action so that we don't get caught in any of these traps that could be set by those news reports. Let's take a look at the VIX. VIX moving down yesterday, which was a really nice thing to see. If I put some lines on here, you can see that I've marked out some price resistance levels here in the chart. And backing off back below that level, I think was a very, very good thing uh, for the market. We had a, a sharp diminishment in fear yesterday. So the follow through this morning, bullishness this morning, should actually take this right on back down. Now we were going to be approaching a level of support, an intermediary, uh, intermediary level of support in this chart as we move down. So we'll want to watch that close, but I think we're still in pretty good shape. And I said this yesterday, as long as we stay below this level, I think we're going to be um, okay um, over Overall, we don't want to see um, a higher low held. So, for example, if we hold a higher low in here and really start to bounce back up, that's where we could see some really real selling and we'll want to watch for that. But right now, don't see that in the market and the VIX holding up pretty darn well. Let's take a look at T2122. It's that four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see yesterday we had a really substantial move back higher. And this gap up this morning could move us right back up in here toward that bearish reversal zone where we're gonna be reaching those resistance levels in the chart. And we may be overextending um, in this move back up. So we'll wanna watch that pretty closely just in case we happen to catch that possible pop and drop where we gap up and then just don't go in anywhere. And I think that could be a real possibility um, in light of the fact that that ADP number yesterday was um, kind of, well, uh, jobs tumbled substantially. And we'll have to wait and see if that translates into that employment situation report on Friday. So don't be too surprised th th today if we see after the morning rush, after we get through this morning flush of activity, that we see the market kind of slip back into consolidation and get quiet, a little choppy as we wait 
on that employment situation number on Friday. Kind of typical price action for it to do that, but we may find enough inspiration in um, economic news or earnings news to um, overcome that. But pretty typical that we kind of get light and choppy as we head into that unemployment um, or that employment situation number on Friday morning. And keep in mind that employment situation number Friday morning is at 8 30 a.m. Eastern Time, so it's an hour before the market opens, and uh, anything is possible after that opens. So consider that um, as you head into the evening today, at the end of the end of the uh, market, um, how much risk you carry into that big report on Friday morning. Let's take a look at. Um, our economic calendar today. Now, our economic calendar does have something to say uh, today about what goes on. And we have international trading goods here at 8.30 this morning and then jobless claims. I don't think anyone is expecting those to be uh, a big surprise. So I don't think they're going to be major market drivers this morning, but we always have to be watchful of that uh, for that possibility. And then, of course, we do have a Fed speaker today. Um, factory orders and the natural gas report and later on today fed balance sheet don't expect these to move the market all that much uh, today we we'll want to focus in on these first thing this morning though um, at 8 30 a.m eastern watch those now keep in mind as i said as the, we get, approach the close of the day we want to remember that we have this em employment situation number that will affect the market tomorrow morning so keep that in mind and plan your risk accordingly with that, everyone, let's, there we go. Um, with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And keep in mind that we do have um, some market, you know, movement today that could move us around um, with a considerable number of earnings today. We have our biggest day of earnings today. So keep in mind, we have UTLA will be reporting, whoops. ULTA, dyslexic fingers, ULTA reporting today. That could move around a little bit. CLDR um, reporting today. Uh, Dollar General reporting today. Looks like they've already reported a nice earnings report capping up this morning. So we'll want to keep an eye on some of those uh, stocks. Tiffany's reporting today. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on these stocks and uh, watch them pretty closely um, because they can move the market around. Looks like Signet Jewelers, beautiful move gapping up this morning right into some price resistance. Um, nice strong move on their earnings reports. So watch them pretty closely. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, um, remember the purpose of these videos are not to predict anything. They're certainly not to, um, um, you know, blow smoke um, at you and, and make you think that I'm the greatest trader in the world. I am not. I just look at the technicals of the chart and that's helped me um, be able to trade full time for a living for the last uh, almost 15 years. And if you find this information helpful, please make sure and click that. And, and by the way, always feel free to share this information with anyone. Share it on Twitter or Facebook. Um, I truly, truly appreciate that. And if you find the video worthy, please do me a favor. Click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment um, you can leave any comment but um, it doesn't require a major comment that always helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks and keep us growing so thank you everyone you guys are awesome i appreciate you more than you can imagine and thank you for taking the time to do that let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up and things that um, have some interesting patterns in them that we may want to keep an eye on take a look at UNH now healthcare has been extremely strong and UNH moving up in this nice pattern notice as this moves closer and closer and closer 
to um, its trend I want to be watching this for that possibility that it may pop out here and I, I would be looking for the upside move just simply because of the nice strong upward trend but watch that as that continues to consolidate against that little resistance area in the chart which happens to correlate right back over here uh, that resistance in the chart notice that we could move on up and test these all-time highs round 286 so pretty substantial move particularly for those of you who might be a um, options trader there could be a really nice move percentage wise um, in that chart so keep an eye on UNH um, Amgen is doing the same thing now I'm not much of a biotech trader I tend to avoid these but Amgen looking uh, very nice if we look at this trend consolidating over here and as this moves over toward its trend I'm watching this for that potential to pop on out and move on higher so Amgen definitely is one of those charts that you want to keep on your list and be watching closely it's been a beautiful upside move and you can see we have nothing but blue sky above here on Amgen so looking really really good overall I have been mentioning um, Cisco if you're looking for a short trade Cisco as a short trade now Cisco is already well within its move looks like it's going to pop up just a little bit this morning but we've got an overall downtrend in play here we failed through this little level of support and if we look back in the chart this has that potential if we drop down through here of a significant move lower so keep an eye on Cisco for a possible short if you're looking for something along those lines take a look at some of the oil sector stocks if we we take a look um, um, Schlumberger um, had a nice move up yesterday and we had oil uh, numbers yesterday showing a decline in supplies and we have an OPEC meeting today where it's largely expected OPEC is going to cut production once again maybe putting some more upward pressure on these oil sector stocks so take a look at um, Schlumberger uh, reacting directly to its support level in this chart now of course it still has some resistance to deal with here but let's keep an eye on that there may be a possibility that this just backs in here and continues to consolidate before it pops out but keep an eye on that pattern Slumberjay could be looking pretty good another one is Halliburton Halliburton some of the traders in RWO um, are already in this trade some actually took profits um, already on it yesterday so a nice little move here in Halliburton breaking its downtrend here in the chart holding um, support levels and you can see we consolidated this resistance area right here and now kind of popping through there yesterday with a bit of a Morningstar type pattern off of that low so if Halliburton can keep on moving and you can see it's looking to maybe push on up a little bit this morning so Halliburton may be something to watch keep an eye on pretty good looking chart um, overall Take a look at TAL. TAL holding this nice trend. Now it's got some choppiness in it as you can see but we've been holding and consolidating across this area. It looked like for at one time we would fail but all we did was come back and test that trend. Moved back up and now we're consolidating this over. Let's keep an eye on this TAL and as you can see there's a resistance high out here so as an option trader there would be plenty of room in here if this were to pop and move on up into there. Watch that as we maybe approach that resistance high in the chart. TAL something to maybe keep an eye on. I've been mentioning Coca-Cola to folks um, in right way options as um, something to pay attention to and Coke finally made that break of that downtrend breaking through now one thing I find kind of interesting is although the market is rallying I'm seeing quite a little bit of movement in these consumer defensive stocks so let's keep an eye on that there there may be some clues in the fact that consumer defensive stocks are rallying here in a, a market that seems to be just tremendously bullish but um, watch Coca-Cola now that we've broken through this downtrend any rest or pullback may be an opportunity to maybe move on higher in that chart so keep an eye 
on Coke. Um, we have um, Kroger reporting earnings today, so I don't know where this is going to come in, but Kroger is another one of those defensive sector companies, and you can see holding up relatively well in here, holding some support levels, depending on how this reports today, could actually set up for uh, some pretty good moves. Tyson is another one in that defensive sector where Tyson has moved up nicely and it's building this kind of interesting pattern in here. There's a resistance high and we have this price wedge that's being built in this chart. Now, if defensive stocks are really gonna come up, Tyson's one of those that can really start to move. So keep an eye on that chart. Um, PepsiCo is another. PepsiCo coming up out of its bottom, whoops. There we go. That's not. There we go. That's a. The, that's the chart I was looking at. Coming up out of this little bottom and breaking the downtrend here in the chart, holding it as support. So PepsiCo showing good signs here, rising in this little trend, looking good. Any kind of rest or pullback in PepsiCo, I think, could be an opportunity potentially to enter. So keep an eye on some of these defensive sector stocks as they continue to fire up and get stronger and stronger. Um, overall last but not least um, Hershey Hershey is another one of those defensive sector stocks and you can see uh, breaking its downtrend holding it as support in here trying to move on higher Hershey might be a place to look if you're looking for uh, just a little bit of safety in a market that has an awful lot of back and forth in it so with that everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits and uh, just want to encourage everyone if you're struggling as a trader to just keep up the hard work um, trading is one of those really really tough businesses to to be able to break break into but once you do it's it's an amazing business to be in so never give up on that dream um, keep working at it keep keep driving forward if there's anything we can do to help we'd love to help you with that but uh, more importantly is is that if I can figure this out as a as, as an old half broken down old carpenter can figure out how to make a living in the market you can too I believe that with everything that's in me that everyone has an opportunity in the market if you don't give up and you work through those uh, details and issues and find your niche in the market so with that everyone I want to wish you all the very very best and we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning have a good Good one.